Welcome back to Main Street Living. Cheryl Quincy, uh, I happen to love February, not just because I get to celebrate my birthday, but because we get to celebrate a lot of things. Yeah, it's a lot of birthdays going on. And, you know, in amongst the celebrations in the month of February, it's the month of love uh, because of Valentine's Black History Month. But did you ladies know that February is also a museum month as well? So uh, this looks a little bit different this year, obviously, but uh, celebrating virtually allows fans to participate no matter where they are. And and that's pretty cool. Uh, here to tell us a little bit more about this out of the world experience and offerings at the San Diego Air and Space Museum, we have David Neville. How you doing there, David? I'm doing great. How you doing today? We are doing fine. Uh, and I say we because I speak for Cheryl, okay? I'm good too. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, David, like many museums, when the pandemic hit uh, or hit, did the San Diego Air uh, Space Museum had to shut down or have you guys tried to stay connected with the fans in the community? Yeah. So we realized very early when we had to shut down that we weren't able to continue to accomplish our mission of inspiring and educating people about space and aviation history and exploration. So instead of being able to do it in person, we had to do it virtually. Uh, we, we learned that we needed to stay connected with everybody. So we started doing a bunch of different virtual programming, uh, starting with our Sadasm TV, uh, Sadasm being our, um, the, the letters for our name. And we used it to put in some really unique uh, uh, stuff that we had in our video archives, our Apollo events that we've been doing over the last five years for all the different anniversaries for the Apollo program. So we opened one channel that was Apollo Insiders. We had a whole bunch of oral histories that we had accomplished through the years with both astronauts and aviators that we put on there in our oral histories channel. And then we unleashed our archives on our unleashed archives uh, channel where we've got a library and archives that's been digitizing video and photos for years. And so we had all this wonderful content that we needed to share with our viewers and we needed to do it in a new way. And so we started mm. doing it virtually. Nice. Now, nice. is this something that anybody can see nationwide or is it only in the San Diego area? Absolutely. You can find it on our website and I'm sure you guys will show the website and the, the graphics below, but also on our YouTube channel, um there it is there's our website and you can you can find all those things if you just go to our website they're very easy to find so dasm tv is very prominent and then we also have a section on our website that we started when we started taping these virtual events throughout the year last year when we were closed and airing those we did them on facebook live we, then we put them on youtube so they're all on our website under our calendar if you go to our website and go events calendar and then virtual events you'll see them all there Wow. Wow. Uh, now, you were mentioning about your virtual events, and these things are pretty cool. Can you tell us about some of those? So our favorite, we, we've done a bunch that have been really good. We, we're very close with uh, a bunch of the remaining Apollo figures, both oh. the flight controllers and the astronauts. So the very first one we did, we did the only uh, 50th anniversary on the day of the splashdown of Apollo 13 last year in April. And it was the 50th anniversary. And so we had the two remaining crew members, uh, Jim Wobble and Fred Hayes. Mm -hmm. We had four of their flight directors, uh, Jerry Griffin, Gene Kranz, uh, Glenn Lunny, and Milt Windler. And it was a two-hour event that, quite frankly, we had to cut short because it could have been for four hours. Uh, they were very generous with their time. And they told stories that you've never heard before. Uh, you know, a lot of people know the most of the main figures from the movie Apollo 13, but these were the real life stories from them. And it was just really exciting. We did a couple other Apollo events, uh, including one with Walt Cunningham from Apollo 7, the only one that he did last year. We recently did one that will be going up on our website tomorrow, but it will be available once this airs. Uh, we did one with the 40th anniversary of our 50th anniversary of Apollo 14, with flight director Jerry Griffin and astronaut Fred Hayes. Nice. Oh my gosh. And we love exploration and space. I know a lot of us are looking for, you know, the moon again, going to Mars eventually. What project are you looking forward to the most as you look into the future? It's cool that you brought that up because we actually had two NASA scientists come on last year with us virtually, and both of those links are available in our virtual events. 
uh, Dr. Um, Jenny Gruber and Do uh, Johnny Heflin, uh, one of the scientists that's working on the rocket to propel Artemis to the moon. Mm. Um, and Dr. Gruber talked about the habitations that they're working on for when they send people back to the moon. But more importantly, they both described the Artemis program, the program to put the first woman and the next man on the moon, hopefully in 2024. And they do these very detailed uh, graphic presentations that anybody would learn from. And when you get finished listening to them, you sit there and you think to yourself, oh, I get it. I understand it. And now I know why it's important. Mm. Well, yeah. And I know that I know that we've got a piece of uh, a piece of black history here in Virginia. The late Katherine Johnson, uh, she mm -hmm. was responsible for helping to put uh, the first man into orbit, I believe with her math numbers. So uh, a lot of tying in between that coast and this coast, and that's pretty cool. So uh, David, we certainly appreciate, wish we had more time with you. We certainly appreciate you being on the show with us today. Well, thank you very much for having me. And uh, we really appreciate everything you do for us. Absolutely. All right. Oh, always love space. And of course, I love weather as well, Quincy. And coming up next on Main Street Living, we will tell you about a winter wonderland you may not know about. So stay with us. Mm.